Hi guys, we have prepared a new update for our Super 3D widget for After Effects. We are pledged to introduce parametric primitives for our pro users. Now it's easier to compose objects into complex composition without the need for additional 3D software. While it's not a modeling tool, it can be very useful for creating simple objects. You can find them in the Model Sets drop-down menu here. They are available for buyers and blocked for free use, except Cube. You can control over a dozen models. In the top left corner there is an info button for each model. Click it to see all the parameters. In the Cube you can adjust the size on all axes, add bevels and control bevel smoothness. To add these models to your composition simply select it Choose any material and press Create. It creates a folder in the project locations and placed all files in the folder with unique ID. Alternatively, select the current model and press Replace to change the entire model. Let's explore another model, a sphere. The primary parameter is the radius, which only affects its size. The phi and theta parameters are more interesting. They slice the model along one of the axes, so you can create more complex primitives based on your tasks. For example, let's create sliced sphere. To do this, I've reduced the theta length value to 50 to form a hemisphere. By holding shift, we can change values by multiplies of 10. Like this. Select the material and press create. Next, we want to make a new hemisphere opposite the first one. We could add a new one and rotate it, but let's do it by increasing the theta start parameter to form the bottom part. Let's also slice the hemisphere along another axis by reducing the phi length to 50. Select another material and let's create it. For the final part, simply increase phi start. Select a new material, create, done. We create a sliced sphere in just a minute, cool. And few more parameters. Each model is composed of polygons. You can control the level of detail of the sphere using width and high segments. The bigger number we set, the better it will be in the composition. But be careful, bigger number of polygons reduce render performance. To see it more precisely, in the settings of the widget you can turn on wireframe style to see the polygons. The model will be exported as a solid object. This mode only affects the preview window. Other models have a similar options. Play with the parameters to better understand all the possibilities available to you. All these models exported as GOTF files, so you can easily open them in the Blender or Cinema 4D for more advanced work. Another cool feature that we added is the interface to control textures of the GOTF models. Let's add one of the R basic model and material. This interface is also available only for the Pro users. To display the interface, select the 3D layer and press the arrow down button in the top right corner. This dynamic interface depends on GOTF file and will include all materials from the file. You can independently control each texture's scale, position and rotation. You can also replace the texture image by clicking on the name section. All of these parameters are united by controllers at the top. From the Transform Material section, you can control all textures at once. Not only transformations, but some material properties like metallic, roughness and basic color. That's cool. You will see the changes almost in real time, without the need to open another software with exporting the updates. Here is a pro tip. In some cases, you may need to add opacity to 3D layers. Simple decreasing the opacity property can make the object flat and boring. 
Instead, press the base color and decrease the alpha channel. This will make the material more naturally transparent. Unfortunately, we cannot animate these parameters, but we hope Adobe developers will add animation support for these files. To hide this interface, press the arrow down button again. In the dynamic options, you will notice the difference when you try to add, for example, model without textures by the selection the materials in the widget. You will see only basic material options. Later, we will add functionality to apply any textures to any material. To parse different models, just select another layer and press Update button on the top of this control settings. This functionality will help you to control the material faster, make simple actions from one place. Another feature for all users. Now you can add your models in the library. In the Sets list, choose Custom Set. From here, press Add button. Note that at this moment you can add only GLB and GOTF file formats. At the first step, press Add File button to select the file from the computer. Or simply drag and drop the file from the Finder or Explorer. For the GLB format, it's just one file. Next step, you can select the preview image for the model. After this, you can adjust model name or set. Done. Now we have a custom model in the library. Currently, these JLB models are added with their own textures. To enable material changes from our library, you must use the GOTF format. Essentially, there are two files, GOTF and bin. You need to add both files to the list and click on Add Item. The primary limitation is that the material will be applied to the entire model, even if it contains multiple objects. If you need to change some of the model parameters, press the Info button on the top left corner. Change model name, its set, or update the preview image. By the way, you can create your own sets by pressing Add Set from the drop down here. Enter the new name that not exist and press button. Great. Now from sets list you can select any custom set, reorder them, or delete. Let's review the installation process. And one more note about parametric models. Each model has its own 3D scene, which could slightly increase the load on the computer. However, the CPU usage is relatively low compared to other software and After Effects itself. If you are using a laptop, you might notice a difference in energy usage. Compared with Basic Set, it increased. We have a simple solution to this. In the widget settings, turn off Model's Rotation option. This will render the scene almost static, reducing its impact on your computer's energy consumption. This update includes in the last Motion Tools Pro 141 version. So we need to update the extension automatically by pressing Update button, or if there are any issues, manually by ZXP installer. Reopen the extension and all the new functionality will be activated for free and paid users. That's all at this moment. Hope it will be useful for your work. See you next time.